Hello and welcome to the next Summer Moon tutorial from Just So using the cider kit that we have put together for uh, you to make the entire Summer Moon block of the month. So here's my instructional video for the churn dash block. Here I have already made my medium and small blocks and in this tutorial today I'll be making the large block. Here's a look at what the finished one is going to look like, of course in a different size, but it's super cute. Um, if you want to make your quilt using these same fabrics, just visit the link below justsostudio.com to purchase the kit from us. The first step for this block is to be making a half square triangle out of your background fabric as well as whatever fabric you have chosen to be fabric C. If you're using our kit, it's going to look like this. So I have two squares from each of them. So I'm going to go ahead and make these four squares into four half square triangles. To do so, I'm going to be placing them um, one on top of the other right sides together. And today I'm using diagonal seam tape. Um, there's lots of different techniques you can use to make a half square triangle, but I'm going to be using diagonal seam tape, which is available at our store, justsostudio.com, if you're interested and you don't have any already. I have my quarter inch foot on my machine. I'm going to take that off for this step. I'll be putting that back on later. And I'm just going to be <clears throat> guiding the points, the diagonal points of my squares along the black quarter inch line to the right. And my needle is in position center, which is going to be along this red line here. Once I have both sides stitched, I'm going to cut right in between these two stitching lines. This is the point where I'm also going to be cutting off these tails. It's easier to trim them off here than it is later on. Now just iron your square open from here to here, and I like to iron towards the dark side. Now I'm going to sew together pieces B and D, just with a quarter inch um, seam allowance here, along the long side. And I'm going to iron it towards the dark side so that it looks like this. Now that I have all of my components ready, I have my center square, I have my half square triangles, and I have these rectangle blocks, I'm going to assemble them together according to the picture in the book. And the finished product is going to look like this, but obviously it'll be the larger eight inch square. And here we have the three different finished sizes of the churn dash block from Summer Moon. <laughs> 